All right, for today's topic video, we're going to be discussing the difference between arithmetic and geometric sequences. So first things first, let's get some labeling here. So the thing to keep in mind is that these are both sequences that we're going to be talking about, arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. And what a sequence is in general is just a list of numbers. So some number, comma, some other number, comma, some other number. And these could be either finite or infinite. Usually they're going to be infinite in what we're going to be doing most of the time. So. For an arithmetic sequence, what's going on is that you've got some list of numbers and all you're doing is adding something new onto it. So a good example would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Seems simplistic, but what you're doing is you're taking your starting number and you're adding 1 to it, and then you're adding 1 to that, and then you're adding 1 to that, and so on. And so you've got some starting value and the common difference between everybody here would be 1. Let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Say you had 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. Well, here you're starting with 1, and what you're doing is you're adding 2 onto each term. So the formula for this sort of thing is that for any term in a sequence, a sub n, you've got your starting term, a sub 1, which doesn't have to be 1. It could be anything, but it's where you start at. And then you just add some common difference n minus 1 times. So a good example with this second one here is say I wanted the fifth term in the sequence. Then what I would do is I would take my first term, which is 1, plus, well, 5 minus 1 would be 4. And then the common difference here, if you look at that, is I'm adding 2 each time. So that would be times 2. And what do I get? Well, I get 1 plus 8 which is 9 right here. And if you look at that, that's the fifth term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, the thing here is that if you think about it, this shouldn't be too hard to memorize because you can just think about what makes sense. What's going on is I added 2 four times. So let's look. Add 2 once, I get 3. Add 2 twice, I get 5. Add 2 three times, I get 7. Add 2 4 times, I get 9. Ta -da! 2 times 4 plus 1 gives me 9. So in an arithmetic sequence, all you're doing is adding something onto your values. And that's the important part. So I'll put like in parentheses a little plus here. You're adding a number on over and over again. That's an arithmetic sequence. OK, so what about a geometric sequence? Well, what's going on here is let's say I had a different list of numbers. Let's say I had 1, 3, 3. 9, comma, 27, comma, 81, comma, dot, dot, dot. What's going on here? Well, you can see when you look at it that I'm not adding the same thing each time if I tried to do arithmetic. If I tried to think of something I'm adding, it's not consistent. 1 to 3, I'd have to add 2. 3 to 9, I'd have to add 6. 9 to 27, I'd have to add 18, right? It, the number I'm adding changes, so it's not arithmetic. But there is a pattern here. What's going on is that if I do 1 times 3, that gives me 3. If I do 3 times 3, that gives me 9. If I do 9 times 3, that gives me 27. And if I do 27 times 3, that gives me 81. So what's going on here is I'm multiplying something over and over. I'm not adding something over and over, but multiplying. Another one could be, mm, let's not start at 1. I've been doing that too much. Let's say 5. And then I could do 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, and so on. So again, there's no consistency in what I'm adding, right? Because I add 5 from 5 to 10. I add 10 from 10 to 20. I add 20 from 20 to 40. There is a weird pattern there that I'm always adding myself. But if I add something to itself, that's the same thing as multiplying by 2, right? Well, look here. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 times 2 is 40. Times 2 is 80. Times 2 is 160. And so on. 
So again, in geometric, what you do is multiply. So if you want a formula for this, then for any term, you have your first term, always your first term, times some common ratio. And just like before, we did n minus 1, because it's 1 less is the number of times we added. We're going to do n minus 1 as a power here for how many times we multiply. Remember that repeated multiplication is just an exponent. So let's say for this second sequence right here, geometrically, I wanted a sub 4. Well, then I would take my first term of 5, my common ratio, which is 2, and I would raise that to the 4 minus 1. Well, 4 minus 1, that's 3. And so I would get 5 times, well, 2 to the third is 8. And 5 times 8 is 40. Well, look here, term 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, this makes sense because I multiplied 2, 1, 2, 3 times to get to here. So the fourth term took three multiplications to arrive at. So that's an arithmetic sequence, and that's a geometric sequence, and that's the fundamental difference. They're both lists of numbers, but one has a common difference, a common thing that you're adding, and one has a common product or a common ratio, something that you're multiplying. And that is today's topic videos on the diff video on the difference between sequences.